Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be episode, I believe, number 24. Uh, we are here. I've done a few things off off camera for you guys. Well, I guess not for you guys. Just for me. Just kind of exploring and learning a little bit more about the game. Um, nothing overly complex. Just kind of uh, learning the game. Did a, a couple like little quests. Nothing I would consider, like, I don't know, nothing I would consider important and that you guys needed to see, so. Ah. So anyways, yeah, uh, the only reason I'm recording this one is because at, right after we do this, we're going to Diamond City and that I think will be cool especially for the first time for all of us here died to this guy once already. It's pretty tough. Why am I blurry? Oh shit, coming after me. I hope that got him. If not, I'm burning my dog. There we go. Nice, we gotta level up. So he's got some power armor stuff that I'd really like to take with me. going I love the fact that there's sniper rifles well I think there was sniper rifles in the well there definitely was in the other games but like this is a really effective sniper rifle and I can really appreciate that because the mini nuke say well I just I really like these sniper rifles. How many stim? I got four stim packs left. When we get to Diamond City, I'm gonna have to make a serious investment. Because I tell you what, I'm running low on some stuff. I've been, I've the past few episodes, well, past few places I've been have just kind of run me dry. Not that they've been overly difficult, just a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of hard to. Uh, kind of hard to keep my health up. I would like to take a lot of this armor with me, but... Oh, there it was. I knew it was close. Um... Submachine gun. It does take 45 rounds. That does zero fucking damage for me. Tire iron. This guy was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's in here. Is that a bed? It is a bed. Uh. Don't see anything super special. Looks like we got a bunch of this stuff. Alright, we 
may have to check this stuff out. Uh, the uh, powerful recoil compensated powerful can't even read the whole damn name powerful rifle I uh, don't really need that what was the other thing I picked up uh, it was a 10 millimeter round yeah one of these no Damn, that's a fast pistol, though. Nah, I'm gonna have to drop something. Over six pounds. Ugh. That's not worth very much. That's not really worth that much. Not much going on here. Oh. Okay, so we are 10 minutes into this episode, so we are going straight to. Uh, Diamond City after this. We're gonna see a fusion cells. I can I can dig that. Alright guys, it's time to head back up and go to the go to the city. I'd like to get me a different armor set. Uh, there's one lady that's selling a black ops like chess piece. I'd really like to mix that with something. I think my guy looks like kind of like a badass rogue right now, but I feel like I've had this armor for a long time, and I just don't really. I don't, I didn't really like the look of it to begin with, but all right, here we go to Diamond City. Looks like it's in like an arena of some sorts. Which is kind of interesting. Never really thought of it that way. Baseball. So it's in a baseball st oh. Guess where the, the Boston Red Sox play? In Boston. Because that's where this is set. So, it would only make sense, uh, this is a friendly, Diamond City this way, looking for Diamond City, just follow the signs, oh, he's security, looks like a gun turret, alright, so, Diamond City, here we are. So it looks like this is I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? Oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Well, this is kind of interesting. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Damn it, Danny. Open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, yeah. I just got here, but yeah. What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Uh -oh. All right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. 
Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. I am the bluff. They call me Bluff Daddy. Sounds good. Let's go. Huh? YOLO. A great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. You best the be quiet, homie. The dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, is that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh... This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. So, this kind of looks, reminds me of New Vegas. Spend your money. In Settle New down. Vegas. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, what <laughs> <the> <laughs> <first thing? laughs> to our city for? Uh, trying to find yeah. someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our <laughs> security team will follow every case to come through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. All right. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm oh, well, a busy fuck man. you, mayor. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you. <laughs> Piper's and that kind of annoying. Of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Uh. Head on inside. So. You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the first guy Piper hey. pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. I'm sorry, Danny. I'm sorry. Anyway, it'd be good to note it down in the laws. Uh, I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk banning those flames with official action. People panic. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. God damn it, Danny. The Institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about it. Public occurrences. I like it. I like it. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. I'll 
flask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Oh, suck me, Danny. Got a question? You should talk to Sullivan. What's wrong with you? You dick. Alright, guys, the big reveal. Oh. It's a nice catcher. Just looks like a, just a nice catcher. Solid. Oh, man, I'm fucking tired. Here's the big reveal. Diamond City, yeah. Oh, my frames, though. My frames. Taking them hard hits. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> extra, extra! Three papers, you newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warn you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. Huh? <laughs> I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? <laughs> Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You Why don't you eat a dick, family. Matt? No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute. <laughs> Look at the dog. And no one's going to want to get the Institute. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Alright, let's find us a trading post. What do you say? Gabber. Got plenty of ramen. I heard that a group of soldiers is Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her. And the doctor. Me, myself, and I. Prescriptions filled right here. Anything you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Got your fix. All right, so he's got 263. Let's go ahead and sell him. Probably my aid. I don't really need this. I can't see myself using it ever. Uh, let's buff out. I never use. Maybe I'll use these in like a tight situation. I don't know. I just can't imagine that I would. Shit. No. Mintats. Just sold all those. So no. Um. Psycho. Not a big fan of it. So no. So I think. I'm going to where's your stem packs? Holy shit! Things are 130 bucks a piece. I think I'll pass for now. Find more out in the wild. Hey, nice.
Sorry, I had to let the old puppy in. Alright, so... We got small arm, long arm, you? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. I don't know. Are you really, uh, human? What? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. Kind of look Asian. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, all right. Few minutes to browse. Odds and ends. We we got we got woman. Don't want this. I don't really think I want this. It's not really that impressive. This fucking auto pistol, crazy again. Don't really care for all that much. Don't really care for that. Close-sighted light combat shotgun. Holy shit. I don't know, it's 54. What's my other one do? 54 plus a 36 fire rate. Mm, this one's a lot slower. I think I'll pass on it. Bolt action pistol. No thanks. Pulse mine. Uh, short automatic rifle. No, thank you. Say you one of those. Ugh. Sell myself short, but I'll take one of those too. Whoa, flight helmet. Red flight helmet. That's pretty cool. I don't really care much for those. Beer. Addict. Doll cure all addictions. It's kind of expensive for just going to a doctor. Your stim packs are a little cheaper. But I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on that as well. What do you have? You have some weapons, huh? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Let's see what you have. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Thank you, sir, for letting me stock up on my ammo. Mm, pulse grenade. I don't ever use this thing. That's what kills me. This is fucking 38 ammo. I don't want that. This thing's kind of like my go-to fuck them up. That uses 38 rounds. And this uses 38 rounds. I think I'm just going to sell this. It's not even worth that much. I'm just going to sell it. Free up my... Free myself up here. That's a badass pistol. Um, let's probably sell this. This. Uh, probably this, and this, and that, and that, and that, and that. Uh, I don't have a desire for that. I already have one of those, so let's see what you have, Arturo. The big boy, huh? Shoot some mini nukes, huh? 13k? Electrified Chinese sword. Some frag grenades. Some really basic stuff here. Missile launcher. That would actually probably come in handy, motherfucking dandy. Old faithful. Uh. Suppressed pipe sniper rifle. All right, I can accept this. Right here. Let's go. Fascist in the Commonwealth. Doctor says I can't drink liquor. 
Joker no more. Coca-Cola. Need a new Coca-Cola. Sheffield. Need a drink. New Coca-Cola. Uh. Here you go. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, <laughs> thank, oh, thank you. You there. You need a genuine, authentic custom. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's see Water what you got. Yeah, you carry ammo. And you got a night vision fucking sniper rifle. Hmm. No thanks, friend. Maybe I have something that I can get rid of. I'm detective. So this looks like the detective's place. Valentine Detective Agency. Well guys, there's uh, Diamond City. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Um, by now I've already contacted the winner, so follow the Freedom Trail.